Hi darlings, welcome back to my makeup garden. It's Liz, hi. So today we're using the Sugar and Grunge palette here to make this look along with a couple of other new to me goodies. So if that seems like something you wanna see, then please stick around. Hi. So we're gonna do a get ready with me and I have the new Sugar and Grunge palette here by Blend Bunny. So we're gonna play with that today. And then I'm just gonna be using some like new to my collection type products, some old favorites, so. Stick around. So I think I'm gonna go in and I kinda, I saw this really great shape um, on Instagram. So I kinda wanna replicate that. It's a shape I haven't done in a while. Um, so I think I'm gonna go into this shade here, um, which is called Moody. And I'm just gonna start laying it out. Um, but yeah, so my daughter has swim class in like two, an hour and a half maybe. So let me grab my hand mirror because I think that's gonna be a little bit easier for me to see. Um, but yeah, so she has some class in like an hour and a half. And so I wanna go ahead and get ready with me. Uh, I don't always, I almost always look like a troll when I go in there. Like all the parents know they don't, they, not a, nobody cares. You know, it's one of those things, nobody actually cares. And if they care, who cares? Um, but I would like to not feel like a troll. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I'm just kind of creating a wing with that deep purple color so far. I mean, for deep purple, it's gone up oh, as I bump things around. So far for a deep color, like a deep purple, it's doing really well. So that's good. Okay, I'm just gonna go above the crease. So if you look like right above the line of my crease and I'm just outlining and following that line and I am gonna bring it all the way down like right there and let me deepen that up. All right. So I've been able to film like little bits and pieces here and there. We've got a family vacation coming up. Um, Ro just had her birthday. So it's been like pretty hectic. So if I'm not putting out as much content, that's why it's just been really busy and school's getting ready to start. So getting all of the back to school stuff done. We have um, a tax holiday for like back to school items and I'm gonna make sure that I take advantage of that cause you know, it all adds up. But yeah, so all of that. So tell me darlings, are do you have littles? Are they back to school? I know it's like a stressful time for everybody. Um, like the whole back to school thing. She's going into kindergarten, so uh, yeah, it's exciting stuff. So proud mom moments, you know. Okay, I think that looks really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that shape on the other eye and then I'll be right okay, back. Okay, so that shape is pretty well drawn out. I'm gonna take some NYX glitter primer and I, well, this one actually, is this NYX? This is Kyma. I want my NYX. Where is my NYX? Nothing, not the NYX, it's Kyma but it's not my NYX glitter primer <laughs> in particular. So I'm gonna place that glitter primer all over the lid because basically I'm gonna fill in this shape with um, with shimmer. So we're gonna place that all over the lid. I'm gonna use a brush today just to be a little bit more precise. Like it doesn't have to be perfect, mind you. Like not for me anyway, you do you. But I just wanna have some semblance. All right, and I think, because I'm trying to do a one and done look, um, I think I'm gonna go in here to this shade. Here's the deal. I know this is like a plum, but I kinda wanna do blue on the inside. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we'll do both. I kinda wanna, hmm, what do I want? Do I wanna go the pink route or the peach route? kind of want to do this with this. Is that weird? Maybe. Am I going to do it anyway? You know it. So yeah, so we've got all that going on. So getting the registration for school and all that done. Um, so yeah, it's just, you know, activities. All right. I'm going to try to do this into my mirror. I do have it right here, but oh, that is really pretty. It's like a slate kind of color. I thought about doing just a one and done across the lid. I might do that another time, but 
for right now. That is very pretty. And I just want to kind of be a little bit more precise with this one, I think. It's kind of hard to gauge, you know. But yeah, so we're getting ready, doing all that. Um, we've got swim class, and she, you know, does really well with that. So yeah, proud mom, you know. Okay. All right. I think that color is really pretty. That's really pretty. Okay, I'm going to use that same brush. And I think I'm going to go into this shade here. And I kind of want to do that all over the lid. Like the rest of the lid. Or should I do the purple? Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to do the purple. We're going to go into Jawbreaker. Which is like this really pretty like lilac-y. It's this color here. It's got like a lilac-y purple kind of vibe. I don't know. It's really pretty. Maybe a little cooler than lilac. Lilac has a tendency to be a little warm. But I saw this really pretty look that was like a similar shape. And I'm like, oh, I haven't done that in a while. Let's do that. And we'll add sparkles because I'm a sparkly kind of bitch. So but yeah, exciting stuff around here. The family vacation coming up. So getting the kids packed up for the beach and myself, of course. And then trying to figure out what I'm going to bring. We're, it's pretty local, so I don't have to worry about going too far, but um, you know how it is. So, and I've been watching, like, started listening to my podcast. Thank you for the recommendations, everyone who made a recommendation. Um, so I've started doing that and then, um, you know, kind of trying to get a little organized before the general chaos ensues. So, all right. Very cute. Very cute. I like how this is coming together. It's something a little bit, I just wanted something a little bit different, you know? Like we have a tendency, or well, I have a tendency to do the same kind of looks over and over again. And I just wanna, I just wanna play. It's just makeup. It washes off. It's not that serious. So, okay. I will do the other eye and then we will continue. Ooh. Those shimmers, though, I swear, every time they come out with a new palette, the shimmers just get better. Okay, so I went ahead and finished this eye, and I also went ahead and added the sparkles, so that's done. These are just, like, from Timu. These are just, like, some little, spark, like, nail gem sparkles. Don't pay a lot of money for gems if you can help it. Like, that's, no, that's not. So, okay, and I also have my Bad Gal Bang mascara on that's here and just a black coal liner by Essence in my tight line. So let's go ahead and put this um, Honey Halo, or what's this called? The Smashbox Halo. I've been using this as a color corrector because it's the wrong shade of concealer. Um, and for that, it's good. I really like the finish and I think it layers really well um, underneath my makeup. So that's been a win for me. Um, I think when this one's empty, I'm going to purchase the right shade of concealer because I like the finish on it. I don't like having to set my concealer with a bunch of powder. Like, I'm kind of at the point where my under eyes are starting to... They look heavy if I set them with with uh, powder. Okay, so I am going to add my shape tape just a little bit here. I'm putting my concealer on first because I'm currently trying to use up a sample that I have of foundation. Um, and I've been mixing it as a BB cream. So I, I don't know if you know this or not, if you're kind of new to makeup or if you don't really experiment, you can take a foundation that's a little bit thicker and you can mix in um, a moisturizer with a similar base and then you create a BB cream. Um, so I've been doing that. Oh, see, look, flawless. I like, all right, so that's my concealer. I don't want to have to set this too much, too, too much. So I have this Ofra Cosmetics um, foundation here and I'm trying to use it up um, because it, look, it's not that big of a sample. This is shade number four. And I find that it's too thick for my skin and my climate on its own. But if I mix in a little bit of BB cream, then I really like the finish of it. Um, and it doesn't really affect, you know, the shade. So 
I'm just mixing on the back of my hand. You don't have to do it on the back of your hand. If you have a palette, use a palette, whatever. Um, but it just sits really nicely on my skin when I do it that way. So, and I do this and it's a really good, like the shade match is pretty good for me. I feel like I, <laughs> I feel like the shades are either too yellow or they're too um, orange or they're too peach and my skin's really neutral, um, you know, but. But this is like a good medium. I would say this is a medium coverage foundation. I'm sure in its full like format, you could probably build it up. Oop, too much. You could probably build it up to full coverage, but I don't really like a full coverage. I like my skin to poke through. So I'm just using a brush and then we are gonna use a beauty sponge. So yeah. It looks so light in the camera, but it's really not. In real life, it's like pretty perfect or it oxidizes to being really perfect. I don't think there's that much oxidation, honestly. I don't feel like this does that much, but see, it's just, it's just nice. It makes my skin look really kind of juicy. See, look how good that is. Like, it's just good stuff. So, but I think the finish that it creates is really pretty. So I don't hear a lot of people talk about Ofra's Complexion products, but I've liked pretty much everything I've tried. I'd like to try the con the concealer. So if you've tried the concealer, will you comment below? I have normal combo skin and I just want a concealer to love. I really like this concealer when I layer it, but when I don't layer it, I'm just kind of like, um, one's the wrong color and run is the wrong. <laughs> the uh <clears throat> a little heavy like shape tape is heavy let's not pretend like it's not but look that's just so cute now i and i got most of the product it looks like there's more on here but this is really like thin but <clears throat> yeah the finish is just really nice so fun little hack i mixed in the hey honey this is their relaxed propolis honey moisturizer this is a really nice moisturizer in general under makeup, but I mixed this in. I was already wearing the ordinary one, like the Al beta glucan one. I was already wearing that. I put that on this morning. Um, but yeah, it just, just looks really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go into bronzer next, I think. And I wanna use, I finally hit pan, by the way. It had to happen sometime on this tart. I don't know if you can see that tiny pan. That's because there's like a layer on the pan. So you can't really see all the pan yet, but it's at pan level, you know? So I'm gonna bronzy up these old cheeks here. I've really enjoyed this Sea Breezy combo. Kind of wish it wasn't discontinued. I'm gonna have to see if it's like, I like having the duo not having like a massive pan of just bronzer. And we're gonna go down. I like to bring my bronzer here cause I bronzed her. So, and we season the chicken cutlet, friends. Season the chicken cutlet. But I like being bronzed to the gods. I probably put a little too much there, but that's okay. We'll deal with that when I put my blush on. And But I like a bronze tour because my skin is a little bit warmer and I just think it works. This eye look though is giving. Um, but yeah, so this is not new to my collection, but the blush is, and I haven't tried the peachy version yet, but let's see. Okay, I think that's probably good. I think we're probably pretty bronzed. If you ever aren't satisfied with the blending, you can always blend in with your sponge, or if it's ever too much, you can just use the part that you already used with your makeup and you can always just diffuse it that way. So I'm gonna go into these melt blush light right here this one this is the color pink sands i think it's okay it looks really vibrant in the pan but it's not that scary i promise well, at least not on my skin tone i don't think it's scary oops okay so i'm gonna go into this so far i have been setting this down with powder brown uh powder blush because i'm a little afraid i'm just doo -doo -doo. i'm a little afraid to leave it as is because it's so hot it's so hot here Last time I looked at the heat index today, like the, the temperature today was 93 so far. She is a pigmented hoe. I like to bring it to right here at the corner of my under eye because there's something about that that's just like so flattering. Like, oh, 
Like, I just, I love it. Now, the, you can see, like, my natural rosacea, my natural blush, like, peeking out from the foundation. And I think that's why I like it. It's just kind of like a, like a medium coverage. It smooths things out. Um, it's not too sheer to be, like, useless, but it's, like, it's nice. I don't know, I like it. Okay, we'll do that there. Very cute. I am feeling myself. So, okay. Should we do brows? Let's do brows. Okay. So I have this pencil, okay? It's by Wink, like Winky Lux. And on one end, there's a spoolie brush. And then on the other hand, there's like this teardrop shaped pencil. I really hate the shape of this pencil. But this is like a one size fits all shade. And I was very skeptical about how it was going to look on me. But honestly, the color seems to work. It just adds a little bit of something. It's not anything special. You're not going to get brows that are like crazy defined with this. You know what I mean? You're not getting hair like strokes. I'm sure you could probably like on the side try to go in like on the very side angle of it and get hair like strokes. But I just find that is a little bit harder than is necessary, if I'm being honest. So, but I was like, one size fits all color. Like maybe for white people, that's like, that's quite a claim, you know? I think some of these companies don't consider, well, I know some of these companies don't consider ethnic skin or ethnic you know, hair tones and all of that, when they make these products, there's no way they could. Because otherwise they wouldn't have one size fits all for every skin tone, like every hair color, you know, sus, so sus. Just a little something, just to fill in. Listen, I, ha I grow hair, it's my gift and my curse. So it's like, you know, I'm like the Spider-Man of hair growing. With great hair comes great responsibility. No, I don't have great hair hair, but I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's okay, but like, okay. I know, brows are a little bit boring and I never do them on camera, but listen, what do you want? <laughs> I don't know, I got nothing, okay? All right, so I think do I need to set this? Honestly, this is setting down really nicely. It's got a little bit of like glow. We like the glow. I like the glow. Do I want a highlighter on top of it? Yeah. All right. So this one's by Pesos Cosmetics, um, which is like a small, like really small indie brand. And it kind of has this like really natural sheen. I kind of want to use this. So let me grab a brush. We'll just use a, like an eyeshadow brush. This one is by um, Ipsy. Oh, it's just an Ipsy brush, which means, who knows? Made in China. Let's see if we can get this to show up. It's, this one's really subtle. It's been a while since I've used it. It's just nice. See, just like a little pearlescent kind of glow. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. I just happened to get it because it was pretty inexpensive when I placed my my order with them like forever ago. And honestly, I think it just adds a little zhuzh. Nothing fancy, nothing like, we're not blinding to the gods with this highlight, friend. We're just adding a little bit, a little bit of pearlescent. Okay, there we go. Am I going to contour my nose? I am not because I don't want to. All right, let's finish these eyes and then we'll do lips. So, I'm gonna take a little brush. Let's do something small. I need to wash my brushes. So it's kind of slim pickings over here. Let's see. Um, my dirty brush pile, let will just use one of these. Okay, let's go into this Blend Bunny brush. Let's make sure there's no colors on it. Use my color switch or a paper towel here. If you don't have a color switch, friends, paper towel is your best friend. Okay, so let's go back into this palette here. I kind of want to do a matte inner corner. Let's see, I kind of think that something like this would be really pretty on the inner corner. So let's go for that. This one's called Sweetheart. And when I have like a mostly shimmer look, I really like to balance it out with a matte inner corner. 
that's a trick that Maria Gloria taught me. And yeah, it's something that stayed with me. So, okay. I think that is very pretty. Loving that. Just something a little light, a little airy, you know. Fun stuff. All right, yeah, just really light, really airy. I think I'm gonna use that same brush and I'm just gonna put something on my lower waterline just for a little bit of zhuzh. And I'm kind of tempted by this color baby tea. I'm not sure how light this is. So let's see if it's gonna show up as really light or very, oh, okay. Yep, that's okay. I wasn't sure if this was going to be like really, really light, I was going to go with a deeper color, but honestly, I kind of like how like light that is. Trying to do that into the camera is kind of hard though. Is this the right brush for this? No. Am I going to use it anyway? <laughs> yeah. Yep, sure I am. Oh my gosh, my, my hand is cramping. Excuse you. Okay, I need to eat a banana, clearly. All right. This is cute. We like this. We're gonna put a, a mascara on the lower waterline anyway. All right, cute. Okay, so let's put some mascara. I'm gonna use a Bad Gal Bang again on my low, oh, actually let's do eyeliner. So there's, I think I'm gonna go with this one here. This one is Cry Baby by ColourPop because if you've been here, you know I use my ColourPop cream gel liners like religiously almost. So, all right. It's also like a light purple, but I think it'll translate well for for this. So, in case you were curious how I do my waterline, literally just very gently tug down. Okay. It's giving snow fantasy. It's giving sugar plum goddess. We love that journey for us. Okay, um, that's done. Let's get some mascara and I think we'll do, hmm, what do I wanna do for lips? I kinda wanna use my panning focus lips because I haven't been really using it and I need to, it's ridiculous. It was like, we're already in July and I'm nowhere close to being where I should be with that lipstick. So am I gonna line my lips? Mm, nah. Okay, so I my focus lipstick for this year is the color Chai by Bite Beauty. So like you can see, like I have not made, I haven't made like any progress. It's just, All right, darlings, what do you think? I think that is gonna be the finished look. I don't wanna overdo my lips. You know, does using a lip liner make it easy? Yes, it does. There's no arguing that. It makes it so much easier to put your lipstick on when you use a lip liner but I don't have them in front of me and I just couldn't be bothered. So anyway, I love your faces. That's gonna be it for me today. Um, did you pick up the Sugar and Grunge palette? I know this like video was really kind of low key, but honestly, like I'm just trying to keep it low key today. So I'm sorry if it's a little bit boring, but you know, we are who we are. Uh, and I love your faces. I will catch you on the next one. And if you made it this far, will you leave me an emoji? I don't know, just whatever's your favorite right now. And I will put everything, of course, in the description box because I always do that. And I will catch you on the next one.